Welcome to the Plast Coat 830 DVD. Make sure you have all the items ready to assemble. A stator, a spanner, render lance, cleaning ball, 27mm mortar hose, air hose and electrical cable, and a render switch. Before you assemble the hopper, apply a coat of silicon spray to these areas. This will help lubricate the fluid section. Make sure this groove slips over the pin that's attached to the stator before you screw the fluid section on. Use the spanner to secure the fluid section. On the control panel, R is for manual reverse, A is for automatic forward and F is for manual forward. Place the rotor inside the hopper and select the manual forward position on the control panel. The hopper should then wind itself into place. Secure the hopper by engaging these clamps on the side. Now we're going to attach the 27mm mortar hose to the machine. Make sure these clamps are secured tightly. Then attach the orange electrical cable to this port. Attach the air hose to your compressor and the render lance to the mortar hose. Just the airflow through the lance, move this lever to adjust the spray pattern, move the tube in and out of the lance and secure the ring. To engage the product, move this ball valve. Start the machine, press this render lance switch. To dismantle the machine, just reverse the process. To remove the hopper, select the R position on the control panel. And now we're going to connect the automatic texture lance. Remove the render switch and connect it to the lance. When you engage this lever, the machine will start. You adjust the airflow with this tap. Unscrew the nozzle and you can replace the different size tips. Make sure you mix the product to a consistency that makes it easy to spray through the machine. This will prevent packing out of the hoses. Spray the render in an even circular motion, achieving an even finish. You can then float the product to create an even surface. Spraying render makes the job a lot easier getting into areas like this.
and now we're going to run through the Plascoat 430. We don't recommend this machine for applying dry bag renders. Make sure you have all the items ready to assemble. A stator, a cleaning ball, a spanner, automatic texture lance and 19mm mortar hose. On the control panel is R is for manual reverse, A is for automatic forward and F is for manual forward. There's also a speed dial. Attach the electrical cable to the electrical connection port and to the automatic texture lance. You can adjust the height of the machine by flicking this lever. To remove the fluid section, use the spanner provided and undo these levers. Remove the bottom half of the fluid section with this spanner. Before you assemble the fluid section, spray a coat of silicon spray to these areas. This will help lubricate the system. Make sure the pin on the stator is slotted into the groove. Also apply a coat of silicon spray over the rotor and the inside of the fluid section. Place the fluid section over the stator, select the forward position and it should wind itself on. Attach these levers to secure it. For more information on the Plascoat range, you can phone customer service on 1800 924 637 or go online at www.wagneraustralia.com.au.